Hello, I'm Will Gormley, and this is part four of the Barbecue Rig Pattern Tutorial. And today, we jump into magazine pouch construction. The pattern pack includes two different magazine pouch faces. The top one is for double stack magazines, the lower for single stack mags. Select the mag pouch components you need. The tabs on the sides and bottoms need to be skived down from the dotted line to the ends of the tab. I always sky from the back of the leather to maintain the strength and integrity of the solid grain surface. The skiving can be done after the pouch faces have been colored and treated, since they will be cemented between the layers of the pouch mounting panel and the belt clip mounting panel. It's best not to oil the tabs from the skiving line to the ends, since the contact cement will bond better with an unoiled leather. To help ensure centered mag pouches, mark a center reference line between the tab slots on the back of the pouch mounting panel. The next step is to insert each tab into its corresponding tab slot starting at the bottom and working your way up both sides. Insert the tabs as far as they will go. This magazine pouch is being constructed for single stack magazines. The flexibility of the barbecue rig magazine pouch construction is illustrated with this particular example. On the right is a 45 caliber magazine for a 1911. On the left is a 22 caliber magazine. The same single stack magazine pouch face is used to create secure mag pouches for both, as well as every other single stack pistol cartridge magazine. Insert the magazines firmly into the mag pouches. Lay the assembly magazine down and pull the tabs tight. With the tabs pulled as tight as possible, lay each tab over the center line and mark them for length. If the marks on the opposite tabs differ, split the difference between them so the magazine pouch face remains centered. Trim each tab. I like to trim mine just a little short to get a good tight initial fit. The bottom tabs don't get trimmed. The back of the pouch mounting panel is marked where the tabs belong. The lowest side tabs will be cemented over the bottom tab. Apply contact cement to the bottom tabs and allow to cure according to instructions on the can. Press bottom tabs firmly in place then apply contact cement to affix the rest of the tabs. After contact cement has cured, begin aligning the tabs with the center line and pressing in place, beginning at the bottom. If there is difficulty lining up the ends of the tabs with the center line, curve the magazine pouch panel to help the tabs reach the center line. When all the tabs have been pressed down, insert magazines into the pouches. Using the magazines to press against, firmly press down tabs for a final time. Remove magazines and apply contact cement to the back of the pouch mounting panel, including the backs of the tabs as well. While contact cement is curing, assemble the clip mounting panel by inserting the clips and riveting them in place. Then, apply contact cement to the back of the clip mounting panel and the backs of the clips. Allow contact cement to cure before further assembly. After cement has cured, put a slight bend in the pouch mounting panel and the clip mounting panel before assembly. Getting perfect alignment is important, so I place both panels on a smooth surface with cemented areas facing each other. Using the smooth surface as a guide, I carefully align the near side of the panels. The curve in the panels helps to keep the other portions of the panels from accidentally making contact. With one side contacted, I carefully begin contacting the opposite side. When both sides are contacted, I begin to contact the top. With the top contacted, I turn it upside down and contact the bottom. Firmly press all edges together, then the interior of the panels can be pressed together. Once the panels are cemented together, place the assembly in the stitching horse and punch the stitching holes. Then, sew that baby up. With the barbecue magazine assembled, the edges can be burnished. Again, I'm using gum tragacanth 
and a hand burnisher. As a side-by-side -side comparison of mag pouches made for two different calibers with the same pattern components, we have the 22 caliber mag pouches on the left and the 45 on the right. That concludes this series of tutorials on the Barbecue Rig Pattern Pack. I hope this helps everyone get the most enjoyment and accomplishment in manufacturing the barbecue rig.